On August 4, there will be three different types of elections in DeKalb County. The county general election, a state primary for both political parties, and city elections for those who live in Smithville, Dowelltown, Liberty, and Alexandria. Let's take a look at some simple terms or definitions to help you understand the process and the actual ballot. Candidates on the general ballot have already been nominated by their parties, and in August, the county general election includes Republicans, Democrats, and Independents all on the same ballot. You can vote for a Republican in one race, for an example, and a Democrat or Independent in another local race. Candidates on the Demica uh, DeKalb County general ballot are for the positions of county mayor, county commissioners in each of the seven districts, county trustee, sessions judge, sheriff, circuit court clerk, county clerk, register of deeds, road superintendent, and school board members in five of the seven districts. Also listed are candidates for circuit court judge part one and two, chancellor, criminal court judge part one and two, DA, and Public Defender. Again, the primary process for these candidates occurred back in May, so all candidates are listed together in August. Voters have the option of voting only in the county general election. They also have the option of voting in one of the state primary elections. Remember, a primary election is a process in which each party's candidates are chosen to represent that party in an upcoming election. In this case, that would be November. If a voter wishes to vote in the state primary, they must choose only one, Republican or Democrat. Candidates on the state primary ballots are for the offices of governor, congressman, state representative, and a committee man and committee woman for each party's state executive committee. Whichever primary you choose, only that party's candidates will be listed. But keep in mind, whichever state primary you choose has no impact whatsoever on how you vote in the county general election. When choosing a primary, the first page the voter will see on the voting machine is that primary and that party's candidates. Then the voter will see the county ballot, where again, Republicans, Democrats, and Independents are all listed together. As an example again, a voter can choose the state Republican primary ballot, but still vote for a Democrat or Independent in the county election. In simple terms, these are two different types of elections, and one has no impact on the other. Now, if you live in a city in DeKalb County, the city ballot will also be a part of your county ballot. In the city election, all candidates run as independents. One other thing about the August election, the county ballot will also include 26 judge retention questions. Voters can vote to retain or replace certain judges on the State Supreme Court, Court of Appeals, and Criminal Court of Appeals. Those retention questions are listed at the end of the ballot. To view a copy of the ballot, you can log on to DeKalbElections.com, WJLE.com, and check out an upcoming issue of the Smithville Review. A copy can also be obtained at our office on the first floor of the DeKalb County Courthouse in Smithville, and sample copies will also be posted at each Election Day voting location. I want to remind voters that most of the precincts will have a ballot that is 13 pages long, and voters must hit the Next Page button a few times to reach the end of the ballot and then hit the Confirm Vote button to complete the process. Thank you.